is a beautiful day at the sheep camp. Woke up this morning, it's about 7 a.m. And uh, there was no raindrops on the tent. It came outside, just wow, gorgeous day. So I'm guessing we should be able to get up into the mountain and start spiking out and hunting, but we'll see. <laughs> We're gonna get the rifle out, put some shots downfield just to see if the gun's on and hopefully everything traveled well and nothing's off so we're going to try to get out in the field today and see if we can find some sheep or some grizz or something out there so End up. Nature's child, stop me running wild. Go and make the time, you can't take it with the wind you hide. Okay, I'm gonna have you start filling some stuff out. Okay. So, top of this and top of the yellow. Okay. We're gonna load up on the planes and get out of here. See how it goes. Sheep camp. A place for those who've said no thanks to the nine to five. A place for those who choose a life of struggle and discomfort, a life free of the trappings of regular work hours and obligations. It's a place full of renegades, sheep guides, and bush plane pilots. And it's a place where those of us who've mastered the nine to five, who've mastered risk and reward, get to visit for 10 to 14 days at a time. Others of us, cameramen, writers, photographers, we get to sheep camp as stowaways, but we're here and for those 10 to 14 days, we're as free as those who live here, and we're treated to a dose of the adventure the guides and pilots live on. We just made it to Marcel's old spike camp, but now we're gonna move up about three, four miles of this drainage back here. So hopefully see we can find some sheep that uh, we leave. We believe they're up there somewhere. And we're gonna go see if we can scope them out tonight. If we find them, probably camp up somewhere, somewhere close to them and in the morning, we'll see if we can make a move on them. But weather's been pretty nice today. Hopefully it stays that way. But if it doesn't, we'll just have to roll with it and see what happens. Right. Up on top of this hill, yeah, we ran into our first seven sheep. 
pretty high up there. Don't know if they are, don't know what they are yet, but we're just gonna pop down here, set up our tents, cause looks like the weather's starting to blow in. Once we do that, we'll be able to take a closer look at them. But first day, first sheep, things are looking good. Then when it gets dark, it's just dark, dark. There ain't no black. That's sweet when you go to North and North, so that's a good thing. Just that. Can you imagine? hiked up probably about close to four miles from the airstrip. We found this little knoll here that we're going to be spending the night in and uh, it's getting foggy right now but it should be nice in the morning hopefully and we're going to move our camp up up river set up over there and hunt some some mountains where we think there might be some sheep up there so see what happens in the morning for now we're going to try to get some rest and try to get settled in for the night and see what happens in the morning. Bag looks bigger today. Pretty good this morning. Just broke down our camp and just we'll head up river, see how it goes. But feeling good, refreshed, lots of rest. We had a lot of rain all night, so we slept, I don't know, 10 hours or not slept, but we're in a tent for 10 hours or so. so good. We're anxious to get up and head up river and look for some sheep. Stop at the bottom for some water, too. No. Set up a camp here up on the hill, and we are now the top? we are now going the top? The up onto the top there, and we're planning on uh, camping out up there. We're going up, and if we come down today, it's because we're going to be coming down heavy. So we're all set up. We're leaving camp here. We're going up light, just in puffies with the tarp, and we will sleep up there if we have to. But um, so far, it's been pretty easy, pretty easy walk through the riverbed, and now we're going. We're gonna get some elevation, so I kind of feel like it starts now. Definitely smaller. Yeah, the top one's the most mature. Mm -hmm. You get that. It looks like it goes the whole curl. Look at. I think he's broomed. 
broomed or flared out. Both are good. I like them. <laughs> go up the river. If the wind was in our face, fucking go raging up that river. Mm -hmm. Just, but they won't be there tomorrow. They'll be somewhere else, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I want them to go around. All right. right. up onto the top and man it's, it's just it's freaking unreal here unreal a good trip we've seen 20 or so ewes maybe more a lot of ewes three ramps two of them we know were not legal one of them was questionable but uh, they were pretty far off so we just kind of circled around got up on top circled around and I just love being up here. Just love being up here. Every step, every step is worth it. We're on top of, I don't know, a big, big, big ass mountain. Our camp is way down there. It's beautiful up here. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's no walk in the park, but it's it's worth the trip for sure. I've seen some, I've seen one remnant, possibly, but he's way on the other side. But I have a look at him tomorrow. But for today, we're just gonna make this big circle here. Let's see what else we can find. It's kind of moving. It's been good. So keep trekking. See how it goes. You can go to legal rounds. Sorry. Top right one looks like he Every single one of those rams is better than what we were looking at before. And we're, we're a mile further away from them almost and they look better than what we were looking at before. Well, no, it's real easy to get to them, but it's be real hard. They're, in, they're there for a reason. It's a hard spot to get on. Get the winds right. Child's play. All those rams need another look. They need a closer look. A whole lot of them. We'll have to play the wind. These sheep won't tolerate smelling us. They'll go straight back to that mountain with a black the mm. black, black spray on and then I'll go into all that nasty stuff and I'd hate to screw up an opportunity to kill those sheep or a sheep and that nice stuff. You push them once and they get really tricky and they're all eyes. They've got fucking eyes in their assholes. Good day, we saw quite a bit of sheep but it seems like they're all on different mountains. We have a couple of them we're gonna be taking a closer look tomorrow and uh, they look decent. They're, I don't know, we've seen a bunch of, a bunch of ram, a lot of ewes and smaller rams and a bunch of caribou and stuff so it was a great day for day one we put on some miles and we put some elevation in there and uh, hopefully that gets us warmed up for tomorrow but uh, we're gonna go back down to camp grab some dinner get some rest and uh, hit it hard in the morning and hopefully find some rams that are way over there on that side but we're gonna go see how we can do all right well we just packed up our our camp here we're gonna move up river, I don't know, a mile and a half, two miles, try to find some sheep that we know are up on that mountain. Um, we don't have eyes on them now, but we did earlier today. And uh, so we're gonna get up there, try
try to see if we can't uh, relocate them, get a game plan together, and, and see how see how it all works out. So we're gonna give it a heck. So. It happened quick, man. We uh, climbed all the way up here from where we saw him this morning. I didn't think we would get up here in four hours, but we made it up here in about four hours and got to the top and just started scripting this ridge and we got to a spot where we thought they were at. Kiwi peeked over and barely just saw their horns and they, they heard us or smelled us and they booked it, but luckily they wrapped around here where we were able to get on them about 200 yards and Kiwi says shoot the front one, so. I went down. Holy shit, what a fiesco. What just happened? <laughs> I hope he doesn't roll all the way down that hill. I think so too. <laughs> what the fuck you doing? <laughs> I knew that we were going to get our win. Dude, that was crazy. Oh. <laughs> it happened quick. It was like, boop, boop. Yeah. He smells. Good smell, I love that smell. Smells like he hasn't bathed in a while. Smells like you, kind of. He's an eight-year-old. Eight-year-old? And this is what we come to sheep camp for. Thin brown curls, snow-white capes, breathtaking mountain views. Fresh rib meat cooked over an open fire. The scent of tundra. These are the ingredients that make a memory. A peak experience in any hunter's life. Ooh, thank you. Mmm. Yeah. 